Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is the middle floor complete, along with the lantern wall here. Um, obviously still some cleaning up to be done on this floor and stairs to be scraped, frames, windows, boxes. But you can see it's all done here. This is actually the last head of the day here, you can see the plaster's more or less fully set off uh, on them last couple of walls. You can see the lamp walls drying out rightly. So obviously downstairs more or less you have to do, but I have a few scenes on, including the big large one. So I've got to plug up the cupboard, put the wall on with all the pipes and that there. And the ceiling with the wee round just makes it a bit handier. And the ceiling's on as well, along with the wee triangle as well. So it's just really walls in this room left to do, and three walls in the wee cupboard under the stairs as well. And the big large ceiling's on here, it's actually finished. See, it's quite, quite a big ceiling. Well, yeah, it's not looking too bad here. So again, just walls left in this room as well. You tend to find sometimes with large ceiling, you, you do get out of the room a lot quicker with the ceiling being the bulk of the work. Um, obviously, there's a couple of big walls in here, but there's still only really four walls in that large room. Also, the wee ceiling done in there too. So this is earlier on, guys. Um, the first head here, I'm actually using the speed skim to give it all flat and then and help straighten all the edges. The ceiling's all been bonded and skimmed, so it was also straightened when we had it bonded. But I'm using the largest speed skim I have just to try and find if there is any holes or any bumps left from the bottom, but actually it did all flatten in quite well. You can see the area you cover quickly with these speed skims. If you do it tidy enough, this will count as a first trial. But I have I always hit it a first trial anyway. This just speeds you up, takes more lines out quicker, and keeps that wee bit flatter for your your first hit. Just finding it a wee bit more awkward around them wires, as you can see with the larger rule. But you can always go to them and then start again on the other end and then when you're up try out any wee imperfections but yeah I would definitely if you're doing a large scene I would definitely recommend hitting it with a speed skip just save yourselves a wee bit of time off the stilts get a bit of a break off them and just just keeps all your angles straight you can use an aluminium straight edge too for your angles, but this doesn't hurt the way an aluminium one would. Yeah, I just thought I would, I would throw this, this clip in, guys, of the ceiling actually being done as well. Um, you can see see the sort of tactic I'm using with the speed skip. Like, you, you must know as well, this is the blue skim here, so you only really have an hour, maybe hour and a half taps to work with this before it's set solid and there's no more trial, so... Um, I do think the speed skim helps speed up your, your process of trial as well. I actually see I left one wee line there, but you get that with the trial. So, 
yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hope you're enjoying this big house being plastered out. And not much left to go on it. Um, but there is a Dat and Dab house coming up next as well. So I can do a talk over through it too.